Hey guys, so you ever noticed in my intro I have the word journals written in there? I've been on YouTube since September, and I haven't done a single journal video, and I just coincidentally decided to make my first bullet journal, so I thought with it being the new year this would be a great opportunity to show you guys that and maybe ask for some advice, ask your opinions, so let's get started. So as of the time I began recording this video, I actually didn't even have a complete bullet journal. I wanted to do a video of me completing that, but it didn't work out that way. But I'm using these markers that I got for Christmas, uh, they were my last video, and I'm using those to write down some of my 2019 highlights. It's important to focus on the positive things that happened in the previous year. It's a good way to give yourself a optimistic outlook on the new year, I guess? I don't know. I'm new to this positivity thing. Anyway, yeah, I'm just writing down all of the things I can think of. I'm sure there were more that I have ungratefully forgotten, but I'm writing down the things that I can remember that meant a lot to me, were special to me, were important to me from 2019. Now, it's been made clear on this channel quite a few times that I am awful at drawing, but I have always loved lettering. I'm not very good at that either, but at least with lettering, I have more patience. So you'll notice when I do a flip through of the journal, that there is a lot of different lettering in it because that's just something I really like to do. It makes things look a lot more fun and pretty. So yeah, once I had that all filled up, I went through and really took the time to appreciate all of these memories from last year. So here, as you can probably see, jotted down very lightly in pencil, this was supposed to be my page for the quote or word of the year, but I couldn't decide on just one. So as you'll see later on in the final flip through, I just wrote down every word I wanted to manifest into the new year. And now I am using these ink pads and some cute little letter stamp sets I found at Michael's in the what I call the cheap section to do my monthly layouts. That ended up being very difficult. I thought the stamps would make it easier for me, but I was wrong. It was very difficult and an extremely time-consuming process. It was probably what took me the longest in this entire project, not gonna lie. This was very tedious and eventually it even stopped being enjoyable. Like, usually I love stamping, but this just wasn't doing it for me. It was more stressful than enjoyable. So, it's been weeks now, um, and this is my flip through. See, there's all of my highlights from 2019, and then there is, you know, the words that I wanted to be brought into 2020 to really represent the year for me. And then on my goal page, I put 2020 visions, haha, -ha, like visions for the future, 2020 vision. I'm so funny. And then here is my year at a glance. I really liked this one because of the pastel colors. I know, I'm lame. And then here are my monthly layouts. This is my January one. I'm pretty happy with it. It took me a while to uh, come up with something to cross out the days and make them look nice. And then this is what I'm calling my monthly review. Well, on the left side is my goal breakdown. On the right is my monthly review. I have a good deed, something fun I did that month, my favorite book I read that month, a crafty project, and a song I listened to the most. And I've actually started filling that out. And here's the rest of the months. Uh, most of them are pretty finished. I didn't want to get too far ahead of myself, so I stopped around November, I think. But yeah, I mean, I, I think it came out okay. I'm looking forward to filling everything out. And then here's my master cleaning schedule. And then I have my budget tracker. And then on the next page, I've taken a ton of notes on how I can improve my YouTube channel and things that I can do for future videos. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this type of video wasn't too boring. I'm hoping to make it more eventful. If I do come back to a bullet journal, I'll have some writing and journaling things coming up later. So let me know what I can do to make them more entertaining. And yeah, I wanted to show my face for the intro of this one, believe it or not. I'm trying to get more comfortable in front of the camera, but I already put this video off long enough and I didn't want to delay any longer, so I didn't want to do my makeup or anything like that. I'm sorry that it took forever to get this video up. I'm really going to try and work on a more steady 
uploading schedule, which you may have seen at least at a quick glimpse in the flip through. That was one of my big goals this year. Not off to a good start, but it's only January, so I've got time. Yeah, so let me know what other pages I can do in my bullet journal as well, because I'm trying to fill this one up because at this point I won't have enough pages left to do my 2021 journal. So yeah, if you have any ideas that I can use, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. All right, I've been talking enough. I will shut up now, and I will see you guys next time. Happy New Year! Mm -hmm.